Just a couple of days ago, we were talking about how there are now two Chevrolet teams interested in Kyle Busch. We didn't know who they were. Nothing was really confirmed. We speculated. A colleague is a strong, you know, reported and rumored team to be talking to Kyle Busch. But for the second team, it's unknown. We talked about Trackhouse, Hendrick, um, other Chevy teams. But one that I said was very unlikely, and I ruled out just because of the history between Richard Childress and Kyle Busch, I said, no, RCR is not a possibility. Well, I have news for you. According to Adam Stern, as Kyle Busch has previously stated publicly, he is drawing interest from other NASCAR teams who could sign him if he doesn't return to JGR. Teams that have been mentioned as possible fits in recent weeks include Richard Childress Racing, 2311 Racing, Colleg Racing, and Stuart Haas Racing. Yes, RCR Richard Childress is apparently in the running for Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, of course, we, are we going to go over this again? He's a two-time champion. He's one of the most successful drivers of all time. And he's the biggest free agent since Dale Jr. He's a big free agent. He doesn't have a ride. He hasn't re with JGR, who he's been with for 15 years. It's a big deal if you didn't know that. Anyways, Kyle Busch has interest from RCR. We've talked about these other teams. We talked about Stuart Haas probably the most, to be honest. We talked about Colleg. And we even talked about 2311 Racing just in that video a couple days ago and the possibilities they have at Kyle Busch if, you know, they get a third charter, if Kurt Busch ends up retiring early, which, by the way, now that we mention it, Kurt Busch is going to miss the rest of the regular season. Uh, so he's going to sit out Watkins Glen in Daytona and hope to return for the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's a smart decision. Just health-wise, wait till you get healthy. And then also, there's really no point in risking your health one of your first races back from a head injury, Daytona, where there's some very hard hits and there's a lot of crashes. So uh, fully understand, fully respect the decision from Kurt Busch. Hopefully he is okay and he gets better and is able to race at Darlington at the playoff opener. Anyways, uh, we talked about those possibilities, but RCR is, I, I really just, a couple of days ago, I said it right here. I said, I don't see it happening. These two have too much of a history that's not good that I just don't see it happening. You know, if they, their drivers got into, like Harvick and Kyle Busch got into it a bit when Harvick was at RCR. So, you know, things happen on track, people change and stuff, but Richard Childress punched Kyle Busch in the face, like, twice so like that's much more than oh our drivers got into it on track or me and your driver got into it on track it's a little bit bigger than that that's why i'm so shocked about this because i just didn't see it happening you know because but apparently it could so obviously the situation at rcr right now is very unique that is the word i would put tyler reddick announced earlier this summer that he would be leaving rcr at the end of 2023, it's the middle of 2022. He announced it a year and a half early. That is extremely unheard of, extremely uncommon to announce that you're leaving a team over a season early. I mean, that's just crazy. But uh, Richard Childress is very mad at Tyler Reddick for this decision. Uh, as we saw, remember that statement that they put out when Tyler Reddick first made this, the decision, RCR said this: t the timing of this announcement could not be any worse. Uh, well, yeah, they were pretty mad at the time. Uh, there's reports saying that Richard Childress is still very mad at Tyler Reddick. Um, obviously Tyler Reddick, one of the top young talents in the NASCAR Cup Series garage. He has two wins this year for RCR, uh, one at the Indianapolis Road Course, one at Road America. Those are his two career wins. So, uh, Reddick's had a breakout year. He's had a great year so far. Uh, RCR, they've struggled prior to this year. They've really struggled as a whole. I remember this is the team that won tons of championships. They've won championships a lot with Dale Earnhardt. Uh, so, you know, this used to be a top-tier organization, but uh, ever since Kevin Harvick left, really, they've just not been a top-tier organization, really. They had 2014 where Ryan Newman snuck into the Final Four, but honestly, Ryan Newman wasn't really a Final Four kind of, you know, just, I'm trying to say he's not deserving, basically. You know, Jeff Gordon was eliminated that year. Brad Keselowski, there were guys who had done more that year that probably did better than Newman overall in the season, but because of the format, Newman got in. Anyways, ever since Kevin Harvick left, it's been a struggle for RCR. I don't think they've gotten 10 wins as an organization since Kevin Harvick left at the end of 2013. Reddick has two, Austin Dillon has three, and Ryan Newman has one. I genuinely think that is all the wins they have since 2013. 14. 
I genuinely think that's it. I could be wrong. I could be missing something, but it's not been a great almost eight years for RCR. They have struggled a lot, but this year has kind of been a big year for them. Tyler Reddick's looked really good. He's led a ton of laps. He's won multiple races, and he looks like he could potentially be a championship threat. So RCR is up and improving again they are looking better second car austin dillon not doing as great he has shown flashes of doing good and you know speed but tyler reddick has been really carrying rcr this year i mean it's just it's been reddick really mainly holding that team or carrying that team and to lose a young talent like that to a competitor richard childress of course is going to be mad uh but the way he did it that's why he's most mad i think uh but you know Reddick wanted an extension with RCR. RCR wasn't giving it to him, and this is what happened. So it's partially on Richard Childress, but Reddick, he he bolted. Uh, he bolted when he saw the chance. He wasn't getting what he wanted at RCR, so he decided to leave. But, of course, that means there's an open seat at RCR for 2024. But what if Richard Childress Racing were to buy Tyler Reddick out of his contract or, you know, fire him, whatever you want to say, and kick him out? What if he, at the end of 22, said... I don't want to deal with you. This is going to be a weird year. I don't want you. Get out. Go to 2311 Racing Early. Go somewhere else. Well, then that suddenly means the A car is open or whatever number they want to make it. So what would happen then? Well, Kyle Busch is a free agent. Would you put him in that car? Would you maybe bring a third car back if you wanted to keep Reddick and put uh, Kyle Busch in there? I don't know, really. Uh, but... Yeah, this whole situation, the RCR situation is very weird right now. With Tyler Reddick on his way out, but still being under contract for more than a year, it's very weird, very odd. But you also have one of the biggest free agents in more than a decade who is available. And if you can get him, you want to do anything you can to get him. RCR, I don't think they have the funding right now to pay Kyle Busch. But it would be quite the interesting dynamic if Kyle Busch were indeed to go to RCR just because, you know, obviously the history between Richard Childress and Kyle Busch himself, I know it was more than a decade ago, but it's still kind of a big deal <laughs> of what happened. Um, but it'll be interesting. I still don't think that's a possible. I don't think it's going to happen. But the fact that they are in the running is very interesting. Could you imagine Kyle Busch, who wrecked Dale Jr. that one time at Richmond or whatever, he is driving Dale Jr.'s old number for Dale Earnhardt's former owner. That would be insane. People would get fierce. Or better yet, better yet, I'm going to really upset some people with this one. All right, you ready for this? What if Tyler Reddick stays next year and Austin Dillon gets booted out and Kyle Busch drives the number three? Yeah, I, I can hear the rage from Dale Earnhardt fans right now. I can hear the rage. Man, if Kyle Busch went to the three, the first time at Talladega, he would get booed. That would be the hardest the three has ever gotten booed at Talladega. But, uh, yeah, I I guess RCR could indeed be the mystery kind of unknown second Chevy team, and that could be the team that's pursuing Kyle Busch. We talked about Hendrick Motorsports. I still don't think that's going to happen. I said Trackhouse. I thought Trackhouse was the best possibility outside of JGR. I still think Trackhouse could sneak up and get Kyle Busch. But RCR being in the running makes this very interesting just because they are improving with this next-gen car. They have shown that they can win on multiple occasions. They've shown speed at multiple tracks. Kyle Busch wants to win now, and, you know, he wants to improve kind of not just himself, but he wants to keep his truck team as a top-tier team, uh, a development team, and he eventually wants to race with his son. Uh, so, you know, could that be potentially become... A development team for RCR, you know, once Kyle Busch retires or if Austin Dillon leaves. So when Austin Dillon retires, because let's be honest, he's not getting booted out of that car. Um, so that could potentially be a development team for RCR, get young drivers into RCR to potentially help the team. But yeah, um, Kyle Busch, RCR, it's a very interesting dynamic. I don't know if they've officially held any talks or if they've actually talked, but I still don't think it happens, but the fact that they're in this running, just it just makes it very interesting. Kyle Busch and RCR, is, is, it would be quite the duo, 
um, just because, you know, the history there and, you know, the fans. It's the fans that I think would make it most interesting just because Kyle Busch just got into it with Dale Jr. And, you know, Kyle Busch, a lot of people dislike Kyle Busch. And, you know, you put him in Dale Earnhardt's former team owner's car. You put him in Dale Jr.'s former number. And that would be quite interesting. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we've talked about the other teams. We don't really need to talk about them. We just wanted, I just wanted to talk about the RCR dynamic, what could potentially happen there. I mean, it's, I, RCR is just in such a weird, weird position right now with having a driver lineup set for next year, but you know one of those drivers is going to be gone. So it's like, what do you do? Everyone, I still think Austin Hill takes over the eight car, or if they're going to rebrand it to the 33, the 31, whatever, 29. They're going to put Austin Hill in that car, but if indeed they are in this running for Kyle Busch and they get Kyle Busch, oh my God, that'd be crazy. But uh, yeah, Kyle Busch, RCR, could it be a match made in heaven? I doubt it, but man, that'd be interesting. Uh, they'd have to get some funding. They have the charter. They have the car. They would just have to, there's a lot of things that would have to happen. They got to fire Reddick. They got to buy Reddick out of his contract. They got to get sponsorship. They got to get, you know, they got to be able to pay Kyle Busch. And uh, then Kyle Busch's truck team's going to have to change Chevy. But, yeah, that that would be something. So, yeah, I've seen a lot of people kind of guess or, you know, I've seen it before where people have said, oh, yeah, Kyle Busch, how about they just do basically, not exactly a trade because you don't trade in NASCAR, but basically a trade. Kyle Busch goes to RCR. Tyler Reddick goes to the, the Joe Gibbs racing seat for a year, and then he tr changes over to 2311. I always thought, nah, that's too silly just because why would you go to the top Toyota team for only one year to transition to the second Toyota team? That just doesn't make sense to me. Um, so if Kyle Busch were to go, the only way I could kind of see something like that working is you buy Reddick out of his contract. Reddick goes to 2311 early if Kurt Busch retires. Uh, so Reddick goes straight to 2311 racing next year. And then Kyle Busch goes to RCR, and then Ty Gibbs goes up to the 18. I don't see anyone else in the 18 other than Ty Gibbs. No matter what situation happens, Reddick gets bought out of his contract. Kyle Busch goes to RCR, whatever it is, I don't see Reddick going to the 18. Just because I know Joe Gibbs Racing has said multiple times that they want uh, Gibbs, Ty Gibbs, in the 54 and Xfinity for another year to develop. But he's doing too good right now that... I just don't see them putting someone in a car, a one-year kind of filler for Ty Gibbs in 2024. That just wouldn't make sense to put someone in that seat for one year, get used to the team, the team you get used to him, but by the time they get used to each other, they split up. And it just doesn't make sense to me. So only situation like that I would see is Kurt retires early, Reddick goes to the 45, Kyle Busch goes to RCR, Ty Gibbs goes to the 18. I still don't think Kyle Busch goes to RCR, but the fact that they are in contention for this does make it interesting. Thank you for watching this video. Tonight or later today sometime, I'll do my other third championship case today. Uh, we have done Chase Elliott and Ross Chastain so far. We have our first non-Chevy driver. We're going to talk about Joey Logano, Kyle Busch's other best friend, Joey Logano. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that later today championship cases i love doing those so uh, make sure to give that a watch thank you guys for the uh support the past month or so it's been a very 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 good month uh just for the channel lots of subscribers gain lots of views so i thank you guys so much for that it really does mean the world to me uh gives me confidence and stuff really helps out really makes me happy to see that you guys are enjoying it uh watching the videos and stuff so uh i, I just thank you so much for that and we're getting close to 2,000 subscribers. It came very quickly. Like we were at 1,600 subscribers like a month ago. Uh, so yeah, I suddenly am trying to figure out what I need to do for 2K. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I, I, I'll figure something out. So yeah, I'll, I'll figure something out.